What's up guys, it's Michael here with another Coral Paint Shop Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create some beautiful text using textures, drop shadows, and even lens flare. Something like what we're seeing on our screen right now. So you can see some textures going on here. Um, we added some stroke with some golden texture as well. Some drop shadows. So some basic stuff but it still gives your, your, your text some pop so let's get straight into it so we go up to file new we're going to make it six inches by three inches and we hit ok so we go over to our text tool and we're going to type of course you can type whatever you want but in my case i'll be typing the word trust and then we hit apply so this is the foundation of our text. So now I'm going to add a gradient. So I'm going to, with the text tool selected, I clicked on the inside and hit Control A. Well, in my case, I'm going to reduce the size of the stroke. And then hit background and fill properties. Go to gradient. And I have created a purple gradient which I will be using. Of course, you can choose any color that you, you so desire, and you can also create other gradients. So I click the purple gradient and hit OK and apply. So we have this. So what I'll be doing now, I'll be creating, I like working with separate layers. It gives me more flexibility. So I'm going to duplicate this layer and on the layer below, so let's call this main. And so main, hit enter. And let's call this white stroke, white stroke. So on this layer, the white stroke layer, I'm going to create a white border that goes around it, similar to what we originally had. If you look closely, you'll see a white border this is the purple area and then a white border and then a golden texture going around it so i'm going to add a white border by with the text tool selected double click and then that allows us to edit our text Control a and i'm left clicking on white when you left click in coral paint shop pro that changes the color of the the stroke when you right click on a color it changes the color of the fill so we left click to make the stroke white but currently there we're not seeing anything because there's no stroke so we go up to stroke width here and we're going to increase that to a size that is desirable so as you can see the stroke has been added and of course we will need to change the background color so that we can hit stroke so uh, so that we can see the stroke when this gray highlight has been removed so hit apply changes but we're not seeing the stroke obviously the, for this obvious reason the background is also white so we're going to make the background a different shade maybe a light a light light shade of blue so with the flood fill tool selected hit blue and there we have it so we're we're now able to see the stroke going around it nice so far so good so we're going to add another layer so on which we will be putting the golden texture so this is the golden texture that i speak of so duplicate the layer right click hit duplicate and we can bring up our stroke so let's call this one golden golden stroke hit I, I, um hit enter and then we're going to double click control a similar to what we did before and then we're going to make the the a stroke a golden stroke flow around the edging so we're going to find a golden texture let's change this back to linear so 
So let's use this golden texture. And of course, as I said before, you can create these, these gradients or you can use some of the default ones that are there. So I'm just giving it a tilt and hit OK. We're not seeing anything because we need to increase the size of the stroke somewhere. So we're increasing the size of the stroke. And there we start to see the golden stroke going around it. Um, this won't be our main main stroke. A tech, we want a golden texture around it. I'm just using this as a supportive um, color for what we will be adding. So hit apply changes again. All right. So now jump over into your browser. I went ahead to find some some materials online that we will be using. So for the golden stroke texture, we will be using this golden texture. And you can type in golden texture to find um, some options. So hit copy, copy, and then jump back into PaintShop Pro. Hit the bottom most layer. Then hit Control V to paste, or you can hit Edit, Paste as New Layer. So paste as New Layer. Awesome. So I'm going to resize it. So with the Pick tool selected, go up to Scale, and I'm dragging the corners to resize it. But as you can see, the width of this, the, the texture is not as wide as our text. So I'm going to duplicate it. And then drag one to the right. And then I'm going to hit the eraser tool. Ensure that the edging, the hardness is set to zero. Reduce the size. And where they intersect, I'll be fading out one just so that it, it looks a little bit clean and there's no harsh or sharp edges. And then I'm going to merge them. So with the top layer selected, right click, merge with merge down, and that will merge it with the layer be below it. So you pick tool, and we're going to just stretch it a bit just so that it fills up. Um, the air of our text. So now we're going to bring this same text layer above above our golden stroke layer. So this is our golden stroke. As you can see, this is our golden stroke. And we brought the, the text layer. I just turned it off. I'm turning it on back now. Just above it. And we're going to use there's another way that you could use to, to actually embed the, the texture into that, that layer. But what we're going to do, and we're going to simply use the magic one. I think that works equally well. And with the golden stroke layer selected, we're going to hit on the outside of the outside of the stroke to create a selection, so an outer selection. Then we are going to hit our golden, golden, golden texture, the layer that has our golden texture, and hit delete. And as you can see, it deleted the, the parts that we didn't want. And control D to deselect. But if you notice inside the R here, still has um, um, the golden texture flowing across. So we need to use the R of the golden stroke layer to cut out that are to make a selection that allows us to remove it. So select the trust on the inside, use a magic wand to make a selection, then go back to our golden texture and hit delete as well. And control D to deselect. And there we have something coming on really nice. Awesome. Now we're going to add this textured look effect to the inside of our R, inside of our purple layer. And it's the same technique. So we're going to go back online. I think I for this I typed in wall texture. So copy 
go back to Corel Painter Pro and over the purple layer we hit Control V and that's the same as hitting edit and paste as new layer alright and we're going to resize it so scale control not control we with the peak tool selected hit scale and we're going to resize this could make it a little bit opaque well a little bit transparent so that we can see which sections of the texture is being um, overlaid on the, our text okay great so we hit the main text layer and using a similar technique we're going to hit use the magic one to make an outer selection and this helps us to get rid of the outer parts of the the texture the wall texture that we don't want so we go back to our wall texture our wall layer and hit delete Control D to deselect do the same thing for the R because as you can see the inner parts of the R is still um, joined so we go back to our main text hit the inner part go back to the wall texture and hit delete Control D and we have something coming on now so what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the blender mode of the wall texture. So we set it back to 100%. And I'm going to change the blend mode. And blend mode is something that you can explore until you get a desired effect. So I'm just exploring. I think multiply is what I will be working with. Multiply. That looks nice. And we maybe reduce the opacity a bit. Mm -mm, I like it strong so let's leave it at that so we're almost done with this we had a drop shadow on our golden texture S texture so um, I'm going to the golden stroke and I'm going to add a drop shadow so you can right click and go to properties and then layer styles and on layer styles we hit drop shadow and then and then um, we ensure that preview on images is um, ticked just so that we can see it on our on, on our design here so we're just changing the position of the shadow to a desired um, until we get that desired look we can also modify the size of the shadow and the opacity of the shadow so I'm making my size a little bit small well I'm making the size small and then I'm going to reduce the opacity a bit and so far this is looking nice and we hit ok so we're almost done what I'm going to now do I'm going to go back to our browser and for this I'm going to just create a kind of lens flare effect over our our text similar to what was done on this one with we see some lighting effects going on so for this i typed in space lights and i found this so i'm going to grab this copy image go back to our coral paint shop pro and we can edit paste as a new layer well that pasted it as a new image should be paste as a new layer awesome now we're going to bring this to the top so by we just click it and drag it position we, we're going to stretch it out and position it a bit 
and make it a slightly transparent just so that we can see what's going on awesome so we increase the opacity and then we change the blend mode to screen and then we can move it around a bit until we get the desired look okay great so what I'm going to now do I'm going to change the background to white so with the flood, full, flood fill tool selected hit white and then fill the air with white so that the text stands out a bit and there we have it some nice text effect using Corel Paint Shop Pro with some drop shadows, some lens flares, some textures. So of course you can get created, creative and create something even more attractive than this, but this is just the basics and foundation. Um, so thank you for watching, please subscribe and we'll see you soon.